To anyone who acted criminally in this weekend's racist violence, you will be held fully accountable. Justice will be delivered. As I said on Saturday, we condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence. It has no place in America. And as I have said many times before, no matter the color of our skin, we all live under the same laws. We all salute the same great flag. And we are all made by the same almighty God. I just got off the phone with the governor of Virginia, Terry McAuliffe, and we agreed that the hate and the division must stop and must stop right now. We have to come together as Americans with love for our nation and true affection, uh, really, and I, I say this so strongly, true affection for each other. To the White House, where the president today made his strongest denunciation yet of white supremacy. In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. I'd like to ask you for a definitive and declarative statement without ambiguity or deflection. As the person who speaks for the president, does the president denounce white supremacism and groups that espouse it in all their forms? This has been answered yesterday by the president himself, the day before by the president himself on the debate stage. The president was asked this. He said, sure, three times. Yesterday, he was point blank, blank asked, do you uh, denounce white supremacy? And he said, I've always denounced any form of that. I can go back and read for you um, in August 2019. In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. In August of 2017, racism is evil, and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups. I have an entire list of these quotes that I can go through with you. But he has condemned to, white supremacy more than any president but, in but, modern history. Just to clear it up this morning, can you, naming it, make a declarative statement that you denounce, that the president denounces it? I just did. Uh, the president has denounced this repeatedly. The, the you, president was asked this. You're you just, making, you're contriving no, a storyline and a narrative. I'm just asking you to put he this said, to rest. I just did. I read you all of the quotes. And if you need quotes. to see them in can writing, I will put them in an email. Hold on. So, Kaylee, can, can, can you right now denounce white supremacy and the groups I that just espouse it? The president has denounced white the supremacy, past. the KKK, and hate groups in all forms. He signed a resolution to that effect. Uh, the president just last week, perhaps you all weren't covering it, but just last week expressed his desire to see the KKK prosecuted as domestic terrorists. This president uh, had advocated for the death penalty for a white supremacist, the first federal execution in 17 years. His record on this is unmistakable, and it's shameful that the media refuses to cover it. It is, really, is mixed. He has condemned it, it he's equivocated at times, he said he didn't want to acknowledge it or address it. His record is very mixed on this issue. His record is not mixed in the his slightest. And when you go back in history, mixed. you can I see that history right here. when you go back in history, you can see that it's Jesse mixed. Jackson it's has mixed. praised the president as someone who served underserved communities. This president with Mar-a-Lago, it was the first Palm Beach club open to African Americans and Jews. Um, and in fact, his record he is was, mixed. He has he not was been praised. consistent on the issue of white supremacy. So I'm asking you, what has this White House done it is quite to shameful. combat it is what quite the FBI shameful. says is one of the deadliest threats Paula, in this country? We're not having a debate on a cable you're, news you're, you're, right now. You're you saying that he finish. condemns it. I have his record right here. It's you need to let me finish. His record it's is mixed. Quite funny that the media goes haywire about interrupting in debates and then chooses to pursue and that very same tactic themselves. This is a White House briefing. You ask a question and you give me time to answer. Yes. The president, pressed by reporters, said this. I've always denounced any form, any form. President Trump has denounced white supremacists before, but under heavy pressure. Now some voters wonder why the president's hesitated to more forcefully condemn forces of hate.